Hey everyone, uh, today we are going to tell you uh, if you want to learn ASP.NET Core from zero to hero, then you can just go for Udemy course. And here we have a Udemy course, and this is my uh, that is my uh, course. And you know that here we have a sale, and you just type ASP.NET Core zero to hero, zero to hero course. So you you notice that here we have the top of the position, and here is my here is my uh, that is the hot and new uh, that is asp.net core zero to hero uh, hero course with the project and that's that is the finest course uh, in uh, asp.net core and you will learn lots of things in this course uh, that course is a much uh, uh, profitable course for you and in this project just i am covering everything about uh, .net core and asp.net core and you know that here we have a uh, these content uh, or the course content and here we have a project demo you can see create a new project in visual studio directory structure dependency injection middleware model view controller CRUD operation on the single model CRUD operation part two and here we have a repository pattern like 3d architecture one to many relationship using entity framework core interfaces and implementation view back view data temp data CRUD operation on one to many relationship, many to many relationship using entity framework core, fluent API configuration, interfaces and implementation of many to many using F core, CRUD operation on subject entity, many to many view models, CRUD operation on many to many, one to one relationship using EF core, and synchronization and asynchronization programming, manual mapping and the view models like that, and data storage techniques like session conf uh, configuration user info class and repositories and store user credential in session display logged in uh, user info and logout in functions and save image path in the database table modify students model and the view model utility service for image save image display image edit and delete image and the next one is the validations client side validation server side validations custom client side validation and server side validation validate nt 3 token uh, partial page and the view components and Auto mappers, you know, uh, auto mappers and configuration. Paging, searching, and shorting is uh, given, uh, like paging, searching, shorting part one, part two, and the final page. And five more sections also visible, like start, bust, ticket booking project in Visual Studio 2020, uh, 2022. There is the bus seat booking part one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and add a boots was theme in the current project. Add a bootstrap icon in current project, toaster alert in current project, design project homepage using bootstrap card, mm, booking model with the repository, booking view model and show views, jQuery also included in this project, jQuery with ASP.NET Core, getting started with jQuery, event handling with jQuery, Ajax call and data table. And the next one is the continue with the booking project, dynamic generated C details, dynamic uh, generated C details part two, add booking. And here we have an identity management like add identity in current project, customization of identity, see the application role with application user, call service from the program files and role authorizations, and uh, add authentication authorization in ticket booking project. And lots of, uh, you know that, uh, here we have a lots of content you, you want to read, only just 549 rupees. If you want to, uh, if you want to uh, purchase this, uh, purchase this uh, course, uh, I'm very happy if you are uh, purchase this course and also please review my course after watching this video okay so if you want to go through that link will be display in your description box so just go for your disc uh, go of this video description box and you will find the uh, link below okay so you can just go for uh, the description below Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today we are going to discuss about uh, your uh, project that is uh, ticket booking system and uh, here we have uh, tickets just I want to book. So here we have uh, these are the tickets and that is, tickets is actually dynamically generated uh, based on your uh, like uh, here we have the 13 tickets and just I want to add suppose 17 tickets. So it will be reflected uh, on their uh, 17th based on tickets. Okay, so everything is fine. Now, just I want to book to their tickets like one and two. Just I want to book. So before going to add a book now, just to first of all register in the details. And here we have a new user. 
like uh, that is uh, you know uh, Smith and Smith will add the rate of gmail.com it's fine Smith Ami add the rate of gmail.com and password is swell like that and here we go so the registration is completed right now and after registration your uh, your user is actually logged in now just i want to book these tickets like that on the 16th of 10th one and two so just now just i want to book your tickets are booked successfully your tickets are there so here we have a tickets and now just i want to log into your admin accounts first so here we have an admin account so admin at the rate of gmail.com and just go for admin at the rate of one two three four and there is the admin password okay so very well now you can just go for the bus, uh, bus seat details and you want to add a new bus like that bus number bus uh, maximum seat capacity and bus image and the next one is to add it and detail and delete bus like that and uh, delete is also option is there now seat detail will be uh, undergo for your uh, uh, you know it's a javascript function and here we have a uh, uh, data table and your tickets is looking like that so here we have a uh, stored tickets so that is your you know uh, it's a uh, ticket booking system it's very well and if you want to uh, uh, if you want to go uh, and you want to know how to design and how to build this project it's very easy to do uh, you can just uh, you can purchase your uh, Udemy course okay